Hi, I was so lucky to have Sikhit Peters with us and a very simple question which I want to ask him is for, after so many years of playing both on the live as well as the recording circuits, what exactly you think has evolved in over the years, how things have come by? Have things become easy in a certain way? Have things become difficult in a certain way? Let's listen it from him as to what he feels about it. Hi, it's Keith here and thanks Prakash for having me on here. Question, what are you going to ask me? <laughs> yeah, well, what you say, I mean, back then in those days, it was tough, tough to record and play live because of availability of studios and equipment and venues and all, everything put together, musicians. But now, and especially, say, in the past decade, with the invention of technology and software and people making tracks, recordings become so simple that even I can sit in another, it's called remote recording, I can sit in some other place and record the guy send me the track. And that way it's easy. And also on live shows, guys bring tracks and play and then there's talkbacks and this and a lot of communication going on and intro into songs and this and that. That is also easy, but still the real essence of recording live as a band and playing live as a band, I still feel that's the best. Mm. Now it's everything is so simple, even a kid could make music. Okay. Bringing back to the thought that also it also comes to me that now that everything is planned, like um, you, you are executing it from stage one, you know everything from the beginning bar to the last bar, how everything is turning out. So with this super perfect planning, is there something which gets lost? I mean, it's a very simple thought because everything is planned perfectly. When previously we used to go, we used to walk in, we used to play with the musician, certain things would be like, oh, this is not sounding good, that's not sounding good. But now everything is pre-planned. So our role just becomes like just an execution. It's like an execution. But do you think that in that respect, the olden days, there was something something else, some other charm to it or now it's better now? Because there are great sides to both of the stories. So I feel, uh, how do you look at it? This yeah, well, so my answer to this, to this question, if I answer, people may think I'm old school. I'm not going with the modern times. I do agree. I go with both the times because I'm a, finally and then I'm a musician. I go to play and what the music director wants, Correct. or the producer, whatever, music producer. But still, the charm of, like you said, recording the studio together, at least at least three or four musicians together so we can discuss yeah. songs and, you know, God, this is not sounding good, that is a formational idea. idea. So that, that way, this way it's all become maybe of a time constraint and you know, people want to finish projects fast, this, that's like a rat race. <laughs> music is not music, it's become music. No business. <laughs> so just play. Food is given to you, come and eat it and go. This is it. <laughs> go to a plate, track it, finish and go. Correct. And I'm, I don't, other musicians, the brotherhood musicians of the fraternity, get me wrong for saying this, but it's become like that now. Where he wants to play and this, but there are still some great couples like I won't mention names who still do good music. Correct. So, but yeah, but I still feel the old school hmm. recording in the studio together. Yes, yeah. it's on chat. Coming to a different kind of a question. So, what happens usually is uh, quite often I get this feeling that uh, the younger generation today has not probably understood the depth of the meaning of the word practice. See, I'm not wanting to ex go to exaggerated levels and say that, oh, we should practice eight hours a day, 16 hours a day. No, I'm not talking about that level of exaggeration. But what I'm saying is, even the minimum of how much of practice has the musician actually put to up his skill. Like, ultimately, what is the point of a skill? Is it about, is it skill only a matter of display or skill is a matter of being so professional that Whatever the producer asks me, my skill set responds to that. So, like, where is the point of line of drawing the line and saying, okay, this much of skill is fine. 
or is it like an endless story with it because as the artist evolves his set of skills his way of looking at skills also change so your answer to that is going to be very straight i still practice i'm not trying to be down to earth or trying to say i uh, is trying to show off it you know the doll one thing i like to tell everybody upcoming musician ongoing musicians present musicians <laughs> music is an ocean it's vast you can never still you can't say you fulfill everything correct you might be having some 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 great composers mm-hmm. will have good composing skills but to touch an instrument and play you need practice as i always tell my students practice so how many, how many hours do you used to practice i say if i tell you you <laughs> you won't want to play your instrument like for example teaching i'll just cite an example as i'm teaching guys that no i want teach you practice what i teach you on the next class you can have to play it for me next class is this asking me the same question so i do i so ask them one week you didn't touch your guitar no i'm touching my guitar no so from people think they no doll nothing against upcoming musicians i know so a lot of kids plus with the social media and instagram and facebook and this they just think they just play something and it's big i still have to tell everybody practice you want to up your game and up your skills you really a true musician who loves your soul and love yourself okay. practice practice is the most important thing I would still even the great guitarist John McLaughlin one of the friend of mine was saying that he gets up morning and he practices at the age of 80 so people can take his place to them yeah means he has seen it all done it all done no, no, but still he practices yeah i think it's about the instrument becomes an expression of your inner self after that stage is reached I and i will tell you a sad story i'm not a story yet he was recording the album called floating point mm. and this guy was engineering the album sridhar mm. the late sridhar so he tell him and mclaughlin was playing and doing his take he was missing some lines and goofy say oh god i have not practiced today music police come and catch me <laughs> i've done a big crime i have not practiced being so truthful to one's own self after reaching such heights that technologically i think uh, when when everything started off it was analog recordings and then a stage evolved where everything became digital now there is one more stage coming up where the digital is emulating the analog to such a level that people think it's a totally analog recording yeah i think it's intelligent uh, sound engineers intelligent musicians who are making this happen but in my opinion which i basically always feel uh, like asking this question is ultimately what will last the analog world or the digital world or will there be a new unique stage which will be a great combination of digital and analog or analog depending which is more peripherally important for you so yeah it's 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 a technical question but i want your view point and because you have seen the evolution from a total analog mixer to a total you know digital mixer analog <laughs> and again i'm not trying to be old school and being very down to earth or whatever and no offense against new producers because now it's all the digital world <laughs> everything is a click of a button yeah you your phone like take for example you do everything with your phone so recording is now dead and like you said the digital is trying to get the analog sound back But again, if you have, uh, so you have a brilliant engineer who can really do the stuff and mix your sound, then okay, it's worth uh, talking about it. The digital coming to analog. Ultimately, it has to be the point of time where you say, "How good is it sounding?" Finally, that is the basic mix, and how much. Some people tend to again, no offense to anybody. Some people try to use too many tracks. then again everything gets lost mm-hmm. also d- depend on number of instruments you use on the song what kind of song you are producing what genre 
because we're talking now slated we're talking to mainstream film music lot of thing happen in there they come cutting loops and so that requires digital stuff Correct. you can't do it on analog so like you say the future they should try and make that digital sound analog Correct. people can feel the warmth like how we felt Correct. yeah kid i'm talking about those days when uh, we used to have uh, certain albums being produced totally in the studio like uh, musicians would come imagine everything and so it was a lot of uh, dreamy elements as in which might not be possible to perform just live by four musicians so then they would go out to the stage and make a uh, a stage version of that and stuff like that so are we gone from those days where albums of that kind were there which were like magnanimous productions and not just in terms of uh, using more instruments but i'm saying the musical impossibility of it you know sometimes some of the music producers sounding so impossible that how will it be produced on stage then they would uh, bring the other band and stuff like that for adding on but are we going away from those days because that everybody is planning everything from the beginning to the ending we are not getting the exposure of that particular sense of imagination which i feel that today albums are all perfectly possible perfectly executed also but those amazing dreamy albums which we heard when we were growing up which are like oh my god what was that that kind of a surprise element maybe in terms of sound maybe in terms of production are we gone from those days because everything now is possible so nothing is being imagined as impossible ah so prakash coming to your question like you said those dreamy days and musicians playing together in recording album in the studio it was all it was everything was great from making music to coordinating with each other to playing and doing everything that is gone i can tell you straight maybe one or two people are trying to get it and like in as the child go little away from it like live shows some people just do a minus one track so no. but there are some musicians like like for example kartik the singer i'm not saying because i'm playing with him but he believes totally in having a live band on stage mm. so it is that way something is trying to be recreated correct in terms of live but you come back to your question again about recording recording that i don't think will ever come like the days we had i'm not trying to be old <laughs> or aged or being old school i'm answering a question so yeah that playing live in the studio with musician not come and plus also the way the people do people no any and everybody we have a sound card you have a laptop you are set i am making music every music producer so like so it's maybe a dream if it ever come back again mm. and also studios i do not want to say it but there are no studios now <laughs> take it anywhere be it bombay or calcutta there are but nobody use and everybody from home maybe once in a way some guys then again depends okay if we're talking about a movie the budget is big the producers are willing to pay okay i have the studio get the musicians correct and pay yeah, so previously that was being done by private producers right yeah not just for films correct that is where i feel that we are lost those yeah. private producers private producers yeah like gulshan kumar i mean okay simple life lessons which i feel that you know as a practicing musician because it always looks like as though we are on the edge of the throne all the time there is too much of competition what is the best work around for this because too much of competition leads to unhealthiness within people and weird things so what's your simple advice for that yeah youngsters first of all what is in their mind you playing the instrument to make money or to play music or just to please your parents or your parents want you to become a musician you know i can see a <laughs> i'm being straight because i can see you know, every parent pushing his child to learn and especially after corona a lot of people learning people who didn't want to play music as going and looking for instruments and playing and buying so for our upcoming musicians youngsters we have if you want to make a career of it be true to yourself what you have to play you going to play in a rock band and playing this play that practice and do it but if you want to become a 
think you're a bigger music producer and making money when that's your your so funeral yeah. being blatant <laughs> be truthful and just play music if you okay. want to be especially young you want to become a really a true upcoming musician learn practice play learn your theory mm-hmm. play well and be happy <laughs> be happy be good to others don't do bad if you can't do good wow. and, mm-hmm. and play that's 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 a great life lesson don't do bad if you can't do good really mm-hmm. great kid thank you so that much for all things for music for your whole life yeah. Yeah. in music it can't we don't let that guy don't harm him let him play <laughs> be good in a band okay. play with the band don't play for yourself don't harm the band 